Oh, do we have some news today? Oh, we have a terrible Reggie Pizza Man! <laughs> OB1 plays? Yes, right. What's up? Oh, All right. OB1 plays. going on everybody how are y'all doing we have some pretty dope 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 news today but before we get started with everything remember i plan on doing a switch oled giveaway if i'm able to get two um, pre-orders i will be giving one away on the channel in october so how do you get in the giveaway make sure you're subscribed here on youtube and to follow me on twitter let's go before we get started you already know give the video a thumbs up we have some dope news items for today and the first one nintendo is giving us updates on metroid dread now we all know the game is going to be good. It's going to be a fantastic game. The big controversy when the game launched, is it going to be worth $60 because it's a 2D platformer? But no, like I said, um, with my first video on the game, no one knows, no one has played the game yet. But <coughs> if you're just going to follow the pedigree of the Metroid franchise, it's going to be a phenomenal game. So get hyped for it. Now, this is the update that nintendo has left on they've been doing it on twitter check this out i thought this was pretty cool first check out this um art the game art right here metroid dread samus encounters different kinds of emmy during her mission as you'll notice the metroid dread illustration shows seven shadows behind samus each of the emmy have different abilities and hold many mysteries keep an eye out for more information on them in the future so there's going to be seven different emmys in the game those are the robots that track down samus and and hunt her down and they all have different abilities so each one will have different abilities and <coughs> i finally watched the treehouse presentation on this game and dope 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 stuff each emmy has different abilities and samus's abilities are pretty cool she has one where she becomes invisible and the emmy can't track her and so um, tw um nintendo's official twitter account they will be updating us on the game i like what they're doing with their twitter account they've been a lot more interactive as far as the games that are releasing zelda skyward sword comes out this friday they've been posting some information on that game as well but metroid dread looks to be one of one of nintendo's big holiday titles like 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 what i'm seeing with the game all right <coughs> bro i have to speak on this last night i tried kazuya for the first time he is officially my main in smash bro he is so good sakurai please don't nerf him <laughs> there's so many areas <laughs> where i feel like he's a broken fighter and he needs to be nerfed but no don't do it sakurai but it is offset because a lot of his moves can be punished if you whiff if you miss he, he is vulnerable to a lot of punishment from good players but <laughs> i'm loving his moveset bro oh my goodness <laughs> His combo, Smash Brothers, is finally a real fighting game now because of Kazuya. And I have to say this, when he was announced, it didn't even move me. I was like, there are a whole lot of other iconic video game characters than Kazuya. But Sakurai knows what's the best for us. He was the fighter you didn't think you wanted that you want in the game. So Kazuya, he's my new main I've been having fun playing with the sponsors on my gaming channel. Uh, some Smash. Uh, tonight, I'm going to be on Mario Golf on my gaming channel. Obi-Wan Plays Gaming Championship. All right. Bro. Next news item. 
we have to talk about these Switch OLED pre-orders. Where are they? If you go, I, I tried, I went on to the official GameStop website right before this video and it simply just says coming soon. I've called GameStop. Y'all saw me when the, the day this console was announced, I did a live stream of me driving to GameStop. They still, they, it's in their system, but they haven't been given the green light for pre-orders and they're not the only one. Best Buy, Target, nowhere is doing pre-orders for this system yet, which is odd. Usually when there's an announcement of a system, like a day or two, they go live. I remember the PS5, same day. It went live when they announced the, the actual console and the price. Now the, the console comes out in October, but you still cannot pre-order Switch OLED models, which is a bummer, because I want one and a second one to give away for the channel. So we'll see. But, bro, this next news item came out of nowhere brah smash may have some competition i mean jury's still out but a nickelodeon fighting game called nickelodeon fighting game all-star brawl has leaked online and this is uh, this is coming from the gamer.com Nickelodeon could be poised to return to the world of crossover tie-in fighting, tie-in games, as a listing for a title called Nickelodeon All-Star Brawl has appeared online. Page doesn't give too much information, but does reveal it's going to be available for PS5, PS4, Xbox, and Nintendo Switch. So, the game is Nickelodeon Super Brawl Universe. Hey, it depends. <laughs> they already got Ninja Turtles. I probably already sold because they got Ninja Turtles. I will. I hope they nail the fighting mechanics. This has the potential to be pretty dope. SpongeBob is a meme classic. You got, is that Korra from Legend of Korra? Bro, they put Aang in there from Avatar? This could be pretty... Rugrats, they put the Rugrats in there. That would be crazy, bro. Rugrats is Nickelodeon, yeah. Bro, and so an uh, all-new fighting game has leaked online. Um, could be rivaling Super Smash Brothers. All right, dudes, those are all the news items for this day. Sound off in the comment section below. I want to know. But before you go, bro, click that subscribe button. Stay up to date. All things men, 10. Yo, we out, boy, outro.